Hi guys, Snake Dodder here. Welcome to another unboxing video on the channel. It is going to be the first of two or three unboxings um, over the next few days. Um, Dr. Creeper and I are heading back to Scotland. We've just got back from a week in Ireland and Scotland. We were at the, um, the summer workshops and we were also um, in for my invention in Ireland and we also then went straight over from Ireland to Scotland, to Glasgow for Resonate, which is a really fantastic event. So all of you that came to Resonate, you right there. <coughs> You've, um, you're just showing how tired you actually are after that long weekend. Um, it was a tiring weekend though. But yeah, we got three days back in England and then we both head back up with Sir Cutie Yuki and my invention to, um, to Scotland, to Aberdeen for the For The Gamers event. So we'll be pre-recording three unboxing videos today um, and I've got to get my content for the rest of the week done and the weekend as well while we're, while we're in Scotland. Um, but yeah, it is time for Loot Crate. We're going to open it up and we're going to see what we get. It is, the theme this, this month, I saw this, is it's futuristic is the theme. And the futuristic theme, as always with Loot Crate, you get a box, uh, a book rather, showing you everything that's in the box. Um, but I don't want to see that because I want to look at the items as we open them up. And the first item, as always, in a Loot Crate box, is a pen and it says the Star Trek pen and it says pen. Pen, 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 pen. Star Trek pin, loot crate pin, the loot pin. And this is, as it says on the thing there, it is the loot pin and it's a Star Trek one. It's got the live long and prosper kind of hand thing. Can you do that? Oh, look at you, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there you go. There is the. Oh, well, what have I shown off now? There is the, the Spock hand Vulcan thing. I can't do it very well. Mm. It's very good. But there you go, that is the loot pin. If you've collected all the loot pins, you have a good collection now. They've changed from being badges, didn't they? Yeah. Um, sort of the start of the year, I think. And they're all pins now. Um, they look really cool. Much more sort of um, sort of limited edition, I guess. They look much more fancy. So it's a cool thing. Right, the next item in this box. You're going to stop yawning now, please. You're going to stop me off. Because we did have a very long day yesterday. We were on the train for... And Tonka kept me up all night. And Tonka kept you up, yeah. But we had we were on the train for... Um, for six and a half hours, and we didn't get much sleep while we were in, in, in Scotland and in Ireland, so we are a bit lethargic today. So I'm sorry if the energy levels aren't quite so grand. We'll try and make ourselves more. <laughs> Ready? Give yourself a. <laughs> there you go. Right, there we go. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, good. This is Mega Man. Mega Man. We have Red Mega Man and we have Blue Mega Man. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, it's, it, is, it literally is a red or blue Mega Man, maybe type thing, but there's, there's lots of ones on the side, like all different Mega Man characters. So if you've seen any of the Mega Man, or played any of the Mega Man games, Mega Man's a big Nintendo character and it's a good good game. The dog's, the dog's under our feet, if he suddenly gets up on the sofa or whatever, just ignore him. <laughs> it's not about him, it's about the contents of oh. this loot box. So we're going to open up, we have a blind box, a blind box though, it means you don't know what you get inside it. There you go, snip up top there. Oh, your cack hand, aren't you? I forget, keep forgetting your cack hand. There you go, that's, that's enough, that's cool. And we'll slice through them to the man. What have we got here? Ooh, Ooh. We actually do have Mega Man. Amazing, there you go. We've got red Mega Man. And given the choice, there was... Um, oh, look at him. He is number one. We have number one out of the 20 in the box. There you go. Um, it isn't Nintendo, is it? It's Capcom. Capcom make it, but it doesn't, doesn't it appear on It's Nintendo the blue Com one. It's on the blue side. No, it's just the box, I think. No, because look. No. That red side's a mystery one. No, no, yes. because because it's red, so we've got red. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's a Nintendo game, I think, but it's a Capcom character. There you go, Mega Man, and he's articulated. Look, you can move his little, move his little head as well. His head turns. It's very neat, actually. That will go on my shelf. I like that a lot. Um, there you go. There you go. We have some Mega Man characters. Don't forget, guys, in Aberdeen this weekend, we will be giving away some stuff. So if you come and see me over to Creeper and say, can we have? some stuff if we've got some stuff left you can have some stuff can't they what can they have some stuff some stuff right there we go what is the next item this is star trek next gen move it back a bit because i can't see if it's in focus and people probably can't see it either yeah so next generation thing we don't know what it is it doesn't have any clue it does say in the book probably so um the book will tell us but we're not going to look in the book we're going to open it up it's going to be some kind of cards or some kind of sticker probably oh let's have a look yeah then don't peel it off let's have a look Oh, okay, right, what this is, it's a magnet. It is a, it is a, is it a magnet? Is it a sticker? It's a sticker, I think. 
It is. It's. I think what it is. It's the. I'm not going to try and try and angle it. But it's the plaque. I think that was on. That goes on the side of the ship when they launched the ship, spaceship or real ships. They've got sort of plaques on the side. And this is the one that was that's supposed to be on the USS Enterprise. The um, USS Enterprise D, I think, would be the next generation. And it says Starfleet Command Admiral Gene Roddenberry. And it's just basically all the. All the people in it, all the main character, the, the writers and the producers and directors of the program. Um, yeah, awesome. It probably was given to them as they built, started, the sh probably started the show. I would think there's probably like a plaque. I don't know what the book says. Let me see what the book says. I'll just look for this one quickly. Talk so the story, really. Talk the story, that's okay. We'll let him. Um, so let me quickly look what it says about the. Uh, I, I seem to have missed it. I can't find it. There we go. Um, dedication plaque, yeah. So it is, yeah, it is. It literally is just a, a, it's a dedication plaque, and they did that at the start of the series, I think, and it would go on the side of a ship in real life. And we're back, just had someone at the door. We have three items left. We have the first item, which is an exclusive Loot Crate comic. It is the 4001 AD. It is from a company called um, Valiant Comics, I guess. It is number one, issue one. Um, and it is, it says at the bottom there, it says, does say Loot Crate exclusive. The artwork is really cool. It's in a sealed bag, which means I'm not going to open it up. I don't do that with any of the comics that I get with there. If they're from unboxings, they're generally in a sealed bag. Um, if they've got the, like, the peel away one, then I'll look inside it. But I like the comic style of this. It's very like, um, it's very hand, hand drawn, kind of pan painted, which I really like. Um, rather than kind of looks like it's been coloured with like, pencils or pens, it actually looks like it's been painted this one, which is really cool. Um, yeah, but 4001 AD. This is by Matt Kint, Clayton Crane, and David Mack. It looks really cool. Yeah, awesome. That's a Loot Crate exclusive 4001 AD quote book. We have two more items to go. We have this item. If you don't know what Future Armor is, it's a Future Armor spaceship. If you don't know what Future Armor is, um, it is like the, it's not a spin off really, but it's the next series that the guys made that made The Simpsons. Um, Simpsons have been around for a long, long while. Future Armor's been around for a long while too. And this is, um, it is the, the Planet Express. Futurama ship. It's a little sort of figure. Um, I'm going to open it up. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. So it's uh, it's very small. It's nice and small. There's a base in there as well. There's like a display base. I'm not going to bother getting that out. There is the uh, doesn't go that slow. No. More. Yeah, but from a from a video point of view, right? it's kind of you can't really see it. Whereas slow mo. Whereas dog by the way, if you can hear him, he's now moved up onto the sofa and he's snoring away now. He's snoring his little, if he had cotton socks, oh there he is, if he had, if he had cotton socks, he'd be snoring them off right now. I'm going to put the Futurama thing just over to one side for now, before it falls off. And we are going to reveal the last item. The last item, as I said earlier, is a t-shirt. It is always a t-shirt. This is a blue t-shirt, which I love. Blue. It's not black. I love the fact that we have some different colours, finally. And this here, it's blue. It's blue, and it says at the bottom there, Rick and Morty. Yay. It's a cool design. Rick and Morty is a cool cartoon. If you haven't seen it on TV, um, this has got kind of ray guns or specifications. I guess. I guess that's what they are. Um, little ray guns, and I like the fact that it's a blue T-shirt, which means I probably will wear it. Um, so if you see me at a convention, maybe this weekend in Aberdeen, um, and I'm wearing this, you'll know where it's from. Um, guys, they are. That is Loot Crate for. Um, July, it was the futuristic, was it called futuristic? Yes. Yeah, futuristic box. Um, if you want to get your own loot crate, there is a link in the description. Follow that link, you'll get some money off your first box. Um, and yeah, that would be really cool if you can do that, because it helps me out a little bit as well, get a little bit of money through from back from loot crate um, for each box that you guys sign up to. So that would be lovely if you can do that and help me out. It helps my channel and helps me live, which is what we're all here to do. Um, and uh, yeah, and if you've liked this box and you've enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. Write the comment now and tell me what your favorite item in this month's box was. Go back through the video, double check all the items that you, you saw, and let me know and let him know what your favorite one was. And we'll be back for some more unboxings on the channel very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.
Uh, <laughs> Sorry. 